welcome back guys this is question number five and today we are going to solve the th two remaining parts of this question okay so previously we have seen that how to find the truth table for the uh, circuit which is given in figure 5.55 and this was basically a question which is solved here and uh, we have solved previously part a b c d but today we are going to talk about part e and part f okay and the expression for them are here and here as well okay so the question we are given here is this one and here we can see that we have three variables and what are those variable inputs are a b and c so let me write them here so these are here so let me write them here a b see okay so these are what these are basically the combinations of the input okay so let me write them and I use this white color for it so 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 and okay so 0 1 0 and then 0 double 1 okay these are the four four combinations then now 1 double 0 one zero one 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 zero and the last one is one 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 okay so on the basis of it we have to see that what are the values of these uh, inputs so let me write it here uh, the parts of my input so the first part of it is a b complement okay so after it i have to write b c okay and then a b complement dot b c okay and then what then i have to write a b complement dot b c and the whole complement of it okay so in this manner we have split our question or uh, part e okay into some parts and we will see that it will be easier for us to tackle down this question now okay so now let me write different combinations of it so this is here 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 and here as well okay so let me write them here so a b here is 0 0 and 0 0 and this is 1 again this is 1 this is one because zero one is what uh, that is zero so complement of it is one similarly here one 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 here one one is one so complement of it zero and here zero okay similarly bc here uh, if any one of them is zero so the output of it will be zero so let me write it here zero 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 now we can see that both of them are one so it will be one uh, similarly zero 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 and here one okay so uh, after it we have to multiply these two together to get this one okay so how to find it out let me multiply them so uh, if any one of them is zero so it will be zero so it is zero 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 one zero 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 and zero as well okay so uh, this is the output and in order to find the complement of it what i have to do i have to find the uh, values uh, of this expression which is the whole complement and make zeros one and one zero so here it will be one 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 zero one 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 and one okay so that is the uh, procedure of finding the outputs and what is this this is basically the table okay this one is basically the answer of part e which i had to find out here okay. so that is the uh, part e here and we have found their output okay uh, similarly now let me remove them and find the other expression which is here okay so let me remove them okay so now using uh, the same combinations which we have here because again we have three inputs a b c so here first of all let me find a plus b then b complement plus c and here a plus b multiply it with 
b complement plus c okay so that would be the output so let me write them so a plus b if any one of a or b is one the output will be one so it is zero zero one here because now b is one okay similarly here one because this is one similarly the other ones because now this is one uh sorry for it here this one is also one because now two of them are one so output will be one as well and here one as well okay so similarly here for this part b complement plus c is what so b complement is one here plus c is so this is one similarly here one okay so b complement here is zero and zero plus zero is zero okay here one okay here this b is zero so b complement is one so one plus zero is one here it will also be one okay it will be zero because now z one is uh, complemented and it will be zero now so zero plus zero is zero and here one okay so here we have got this expression again okay? so now in order to find the final expression which is here i have to combine this one and this one and i have to multiply them together and in multiplication i can very easily see that if any one of these twos okay if any one of these twos is zero the output will be zero so here it is zero it is zero it is zero okay this is one because both of them are one and this is the only condition for the and get to get the output equal to true or one so that is one 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 okay this is zero and this is one, okay so uh, what is this this is basically the output expression okay this is the output expression for the part f here and we have found out that we can very easily find out the expression or the truth table for the expression after uh, finding the boolean expression for the circuit and then uh, solving it like this one okay so that's it for today in which we have seen the remaining parts of our question so i will see you with some more question in our upcoming video thank you so much